Hi everyone, it's Tom Mackey here. Now this week we're coming from the very far northern town of Tromso, way up in the Arctic Circle. And we're going to be doing a blue hour shot tonight. Now, unlike other blue hour shots that we've done in the past on our videos, this one's a little bit different. Now you can probably hear we're standing right next to a main road. And this is what we're going to be introducing into our blue hour, light trails that add a little bit of extra interest. I'm actually exposing right now, I'm using a little stopper to give a really long exposure of two minutes. And this is kind of dependent on the amount of traffic that's coming by. Right now, there's nothing at all when you need it. But um, I figured two minutes is going to be long enough to get enough traffic to go through, so it should produce a really good image. Now, as the light levels drop, uh, I'll remove my little stopper and won't need that. Okay, we've got some cars coming, that'll be good. What I'm trying to really get are the red tail lights going through because that red color is really gonna be, um, and the white, we've got a lot of white. The red really stands out a lot better than the white, I think. So the building that you can see behind me is called the Arctic Cathedral here in Tromso. And there's a few considerations that I have to make uh, from this position. I've chosen this area because I've got this leading line of the car trails going through the scene, that's obvious, but also there's an annoying lamppost just to the left here, which I've placed carefully in between the bridge. Now there's the, the bridge going off in the distance. I want to keep that in the shot, but that pole is coming right down through the center of it, which will make it much easier for me to, to remove later in post. Now the other thing is the, uh, the lighting. Now I'm uh, right at the prime blue hour lighting right now. It's about a half an hour after sunset. And I have about a minute left of an exposure. And during this whole minute, I'm getting a lot of traffic going through, which is great. I really want to get a lot of those red tail lights going through. The other thing is um, the exposure. So I'm... Uh, I'm actually using, as I mentioned, a little stopper, but also a polarizing filter. What that's going to do is that will increase your exposure, which is a bonus in this case. So it doesn't make any difference. It's only adding to that exposure. Um, but as you can see, you can start to see the uh, stained glass in the uh, side at the end of this um, cathedral, which is really beautiful. Um, the lights are looking great. I'm hoping, there's our exposures done. I'm hoping that is going to be a really good one. Okay. Brilliant. It's exactly what I was going for. I love it when it turns out this way. So, whoa, if I don't fall over here. Um, so as you can see, we've got lots of light trails going through during this two minute exposure, especially the red ones that really draw your eye into the composition. And it's creating that diagonal coming in from the edge of the frame, pulling your eye through the frame. You've got the, the cathedral off here to the right. And as I said, this lamp post, that's gonna go in the post. So exposure wise, what aperture would you use? Okay, I'm using it about F9, F8. I don't really need a lot of depth of field here. It's really the optimal aperture for this. Uh, I don't want to do really long exposures like five or ten minutes. That's pointless. Uh, so two minutes is an ideal for this situation with the amount of traffic that we have going through. Now, if you're in a large city situation, uh, so with lots of traffic, 30 seconds, that'll probably be just enough to get a good flow of traffic. So introducing different elements to your blue hour shots can really make them stand out a lot more. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and try to do some different uh, compositions around here. I'm going to walk around the building. There's a shot down towards the front that I think would be nice as well with the traffic streams going through at the base of it. Now, as you can see, I really chose this area mainly because it's telling a story. I'm drawing the viewer's eye through the frame. And then right down, I've got all those streams of traffic lights coming over the bridge in the background. So you're kind of getting this sort of S shape coming through which I'm going to pick out a little bit more in post, uh, but I, I'm really happy with the way that's turned out. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go try some different compositions now to see what we can get. I, there's a one, one image down by the front of the building that I think might work really well. So come on, let's go and see what we can do. Okay, so now I've changed position and I'm down here, as you can hear, right next to the main road. I thought I'd use this, uh, especially the traffic coming off the bridge, coming right through the foreground of the, the scene. Now the light levels have dropped significantly, so I've taken uh, the polarizer off. Uh, no need for any uh, ND filter at all. Um, so I've got no filtration at all on there. I've dropped the ISO down to 64 and I'm shooting at about f11. So that's going to allow me to get about 25 to 30 second exposure. Now, as you can see, I've got a chamois over my lens because it's spinning with rain right now. And the worst thing is, is to get those little raindrops on there, especially with the lights coming in, it's just gonna flare out completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this. I've got some good traffic going through now. Let that go. Hopefully you won't get any um, raindrops on it. I've got a wipe in between each shot but hopefully this one will be good. As you can see here, lots of really cool lights going through the foreground and still have that blue hour to the sky. Now there's a light post right to the right of the camera. It's causing a little bit of, a little bit of flare coming in. So I've got to be careful of that. I can probably take that out and post, but I'm going to try another shot just to readjust my angle and hopefully get rid of that flare. I, could maybe shield that with my hand as well. Um, always best to use black gloves when you're using that to shield. Okay, so the bus is going through the scene. As you can see here, it's not ideal because it, those high red lights cut right through the middle of the uh, cathedral. So I'm gonna go for another exposure without buses. I've got lots of traffic coming. So hopefully this is gonna be the one. Okay, now that one looks great. I think that's, uh, that's what I've been looking for. There's no raindrops on it, there's no flare. So I'm really happy with that. So thanks for joining me today for something a little bit of a different take on photographing blue hours. Introducing those car trails uh, can really make your images pop. Fortunately, sorry about the road noise and the raindrops, but uh, I think the images at the end of this video you're gonna love. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so now, hit those like buttons and let's hear your comments. So high up in the Arctic North, I'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye for now.